Dear children, welcome back to science lesson. Today we will be doing chapter 6. The name of the chapter is We Need Food. The name of the chapter is We Need Food. So please take out your science book and open page number 45 page number 45 children today we will discuss a very interesting topic that you will definitely love to study it's about food I am sure all of you love different kinds of foods and you all must have your most favorite food. As we continue to study, each of you can definitely name your favorite food. But do you know? Why we need food? Remember, when you come back home from school, you feel very tired. Why do you feel tired? Because you have worked hard and played in school. Also, you feel tired because you are hungry. When your mother serves food for you, I am sure you get back your lost energy. So we find that food gives us energy and strength to walk and play. But also, it helps us to grow healthy and strong. This is why we need food. And we cannot live without food. Not only human beings, but all living beings need food to survive. Children, as I mentioned that food gives us energy. But do you know that food also gives us nutrients, vitamins and minerals. Good food taken in balanced quantities always keeps us fit and well. Healthy food always increases our capacity to avoid getting sick. We must know what are healthy food. Healthy foods include a good proportion of fruits, vegetables, milk, meat, fish and eggs. But all foods are not good for our health. Among them are so-called junk food. Junk foods are tasty but mostly harmful. I know that you all love to eat junk food. I am sure you can name Many of them like burger, french fries, pizza, cold drinks and etc. Now children we will discuss about various food groups. Food can be divided into three groups. Number one. Energy giving food. 
Number two, body building food. Number three, protective food. Number one, energy giving food. Number two, body building food. Number three, protective food. My dear students, we should eat all kinds of food from the above food groups. But we should remember also that we must eat the right amount of food. Even if we eat different kinds of foods from different groups, we must keep in mind not to eat too much. If we eat too much, then it will make us fat. On the other hand, if we eat too little, it will make us weak. But you might want to ask, why should we eat food from different food groups? Once we study the food groups in detail, we will be able to understand why we need to eat from all food groups. Now, we will discuss the first group which is energy giving food. As you can understand, energy giving food are those which give us energy. Food like potato, rice, bread and sugar gives us energy. And when we have energy, we can do lots of work and play. Energy giving food also help our body to stay warm. Next we will talk about body building food. Body building food are food which help us in building our body muscles. They also make our bones and teeth strong. It also helps us to grow. Examples of bodybuilding food are milk, cheese, fish, eggs, pulses and meat. I hope you all like this food. Now children, do you know an interesting thing? Different places have different food people like to eat. Which is their main food? The main food of a place is called a staple food. For example, rice is a staple food of many countries in the world. What it means is that we use rice to eat different types of foods. Now we will discuss about protective food. Protective food are those foods which protects us from various sickness and diseases. For example, fruits, vegetables and Nuts protect us from various diseases. So children, we must all eat different types of foods not only to stay healthy and fit but also to protect us from sickness. Now I am going to talk about a very important habit. That is the habit of drinking water. Water is very important for us. It helps in the formation of blood 
inside our body. It helps to throw out wastes from the body. Water also carries food around the body. Therefore, children, it is important to drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Children, do you drink water at regular intervals? If not, you should start the habit today. We have so far learned about different groups of foods. But do you know, people choose to be either vegetarians or non-vegetarians. Vegetarians are those who eat only vegetables, no meat, fish or eggs. They only eat plants and plant products. On the other hand, non-vegetarians are those who cook and eat meat of animals like goat, fish and hen. They also eat eggs and some sea animals like fish, prawn, etc. Now children, all of you know that people eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. We eat three main meals a day. Breakfast is eaten in the morning. Lunch is eaten in the afternoon. And dinner is eaten in the evening. They all have fixed timings. So, meal is the food we eat at a fixed time every day. Although we may eat a small meal called a snack in between. But remember children, we must never forget to have our meals at the right time. This will keep us healthy and fit. Now I will tell you about some good eating habits. You must all follow these at your home. Please listen attentively. Number one, wash your hands before and after eating meals. Wash your hands before and after eating meals. Number two, always eat fresh and well-cooked food. Always eat fresh and well-cooked food. Number three, always eat food at a clean place. Always eat food at a clean place. Number four, eat slowly and chew the food well. Eat slowly and chew the food well. Number five, do not buy snacks and cut fruits from roadside hawkers. Do not buy snacks and cut fruits from roadside hawkers. Number six, 
eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. Avoid eating junk food. Eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. Avoid eating junk food. Number seven. Drink two glasses of milk every day. Milk contains calcium that makes our bones and teeth strong. Drink two glasses of milk every day. Milk contains calcium that makes our bones and teeth strong. Number eight. Eat a little less than what you can. Never overeat. Eat a little less than what you can. Never overeat. Now, let us list down the important points of the chapter. Number one. Food helps us to grow healthy and strong. Food helps us to grow healthy and strong. Number two. Food can be divided into three groups. Energy giving food, bodybuilding food and Protective food. Food can be divided into three groups. Energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food. Number three. We should eat all kinds of food in the right amount to stay healthy. We should eat all kinds of food in the right amount to stay healthy. Number four. Water is very important for us. Water is very important for us. Number five. Meal is the food we eat at a fixed time every day. Meal is the food we eat at a fixed time every day. Number six, we should develop good eating habits. Number six, we should develop good eating habits. Now children, I will dictate to you the spellings. Please underline them with your pencils. Energy Energy Grow Grow Healthy Healthy Strong Strong Bones Bones Teeth Teeth Protective Protective Water Water Blood Blood Every day Every day Breakfast Breakfast 
लंच लंच डिनर डिनर सो चिल्ड्रेन अप टू हेयर फॉर टूडे प्लीज रिमेंबर टू रिवाइज द चैप्टर वेरी वेल एट होम गुड बाय